Researchers are trying to make sure there's nothing fishy on your plate. They're working on a special guide which indicates the level of mercury in fish. It's an important development, as you'll see, as high levels can be extremely dangerous. Mercury is a naturally occurring element that is all around us. Fish absorb it across their gill surface, as well as in their food. The mercury level in fish increases in the food chain as it's passed from smaller fish to larger ones. It's a neurotoxin, so it actually affects your neurological system. Um, and it can cause a number of different impacts or effects in that sense, so development of the brain, um, in children it can cause uh, mental retardation, if it, and this is all if, if, if there's a, a quite a high exposure to mercury. Brent Newman, a specialist in marine and estuarine ecotoxicology, says the level of mercury in fish should not exceed 2 micrograms per kilogram. He's developed this preliminary table on the number of fish meals that are safe to consume. Scientists analyze store-bought fish along South Africa's east coast to check the tissue for mercury concentrations. They then calculated the number of safe meals without exceeding the 2 micrograms per kilogram limit using a reference dose provided for by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency and an assumed meal size. Newman hopes it will help South Africans make an informed choice when choosing their meals. And it's not there to scare people into not eating fish. That is not the intention at all. People must eat fish. They're really important for the development of, of children and so on in many aspects. And people should be encouraged to eat fish. Just eat fish in moderation if they have high mercury concentrations in their tissue. Newman says none of the fish that were analyzed tested above the mercury limit. However, researchers will be testing more fish early next year including species found along the country's western coastline. Judith Subban, Durban.